Amy from Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. I, I, I very much love the show. I watched it straight through. Very funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's very amazing. Much enjoyed it. Um, so to start out, this is for both of you. I wonder if you can talk about the importance of family to your characters, because I feel like not so much that it necessarily changes throughout the series, but maybe they're more, I guess, open about it. <laughs> we'll just go rob the Nana. Well, I, th I think that certainly for, for, for Lord Dudley, he goes on a bit of a journey. You know, he, he starts in one place and ends up in another in terms of his relationship with his sons. And that's always lovely to play as an actor. I think he learns a few lessons, uh, certainly that he, that he can't control his sons in, in the way that he would like to. But I think in, in many ways he has the best of intentions for them. I think what, what what's difficult about it is that they need, Francis, you need your children. Your children are your future. So you can't be just like, oh, do what you want and it'll either work out for you or it won't because your, her future is tied into the future of the children. So it's a sort of ultimate codependent relationship. You can't, for survival, you have to remain knitted together. So that's so you have to... You think you have to, she thinks she has to control the every move, but of course it doesn't work. <laughs> it never works out. Um, so what was it about either the script or the character for each of you that, that drew you to it, that made you want to do it? Let's go again. Well, it read, it just read so well. You know, when you get a script and you look at it, uh, a, a script can be very hard to read, to properly understand it, who the characters are. There's no visuals, it's just words. So this one, straight away, you're turning the pages. So you know you like it. Then you see your character and you think, oh, I've not played this kind of scheming, manipulative person before. That would be nice to do something different. And then they said Anna Chancellor was going to be in it. And it was too late to pull out. <laughs> I think it's the same. You know, you, uh, I, I, read, I read the script and I thought, that is clever. That is funny. I think I could bring something to that. And, but I didn't know how how kind of great it was going to be and how what a huge scale it was going to be on yeah, for yeah. us anyway i mean maybe for some shows it's not but for us it was these beautiful places we went to these wonderful clothes it was just a very enticing project it felt like a movie set more than tv i know tv's going that way now but yeah. uh, when i was on it it felt more like films that i'd i'd worked on rather than a television series but you know Prime Video is this global platform and uh, that's a bit of an adjustment for an old actor like me to sort of get his, get right. his head around that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, was going to be my next question about the costumes. Can you, you talk about working with that? Did that help you get into character or was it a lot <laughs> still? No, it helps. It certainly helps. But it is quite a big deal. You know, you go to uh, hair and makeup, you have like your wig, takes a couple of hours maybe to put on. And then if you're like me, you might have a little bit of a sleep because <laughs> before you're, and then suddenly they're running after you, Anna, your hair, and then your clothes, and that takes, you know, a good half hour to get that on. And then once you're in it, there's no getting out. So even if you want to have a lie down, you have to position yourself like a plank of wood. <laughs> even the men, you know, the men, we would have tights, and then doublets and hose, and these are all handmade for us. So they will be quite. So if your if your weight fluctuates over the course of the uh, of of the shooting, and sometimes I would be wearing a cloak, quite a heavy cloak, you can really put your put your shoulder out. The shoes were like slippers, very flat, no support. So all these little things, which sound like nothing, but when you're doing it day after day for a twelve hour day. You know, I mean, it was barbaric. Yeah, I was wearing my Ugg boots because it was cold and I and I they couldn't see my feet. But I got twisted in my dress and um, fell over like a huge tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they all look nice, even if they aren't comfortable. <laughs> at any rate. Oh, they look fantastic. I mean, the wardrobe department and, and as I say, they created the majority of these from scratch. It was stunning. They would just bring me new costumes in for different episodes. It really was remarkable. No, those people who made those costumes were incredible. Yeah, well, incredible. The, whole, the whole show looked very great. So thank you very much, both of you. And I'm a huge fan of what I lied to you, too. I do want to mention that. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thanks a lot. Sure, thanks. Thank Have you. a good nice day, guys. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.